Here we're told that we're using a ruler to uh, determine the diameter of this tennis ball. So we have the tennis ball here, we've got a ruler here, and we want to include some uncertainty. The finest divisions on the ruler are one millimeter increments. So that's, it's kind of tough to see, but they're in one millimeter increments. So let's go ahead and figure out what the diameter is. We know that the diameter will be the reading on the right side minus the reading on the left side. So I'll say L is the reading on the right side, L sub R minus the reading on the left side, which will be L sub L. And if I do my best to try to figure this out, the right hand side looks maybe like it's somewhere out there. L sub R looks something like 56.7 centimeters. And then doing the left side looks something like there, which I would say L sub L is maybe something like 50.2 centimeters. So when I plug these numbers in, this comes out to be 6.5 centimeters. So that's, that's the diameter that I, I'm estimating here, but we also need to include some uncertainty here. Now when I look at the uncertainty in this, even though your first guess might be that the uncertainty is plus or minus one half the least count, which is one millimeter, there's no way I can see that well down to one, mil one millimeter here. Really at best I'm getting maybe a half, half a centimeter, like five millimeters is my true least count. So I would say then that my uncertainty really is so, so my measurement on the right side really is 56.7 plus or minus, let me rewrite this. I would say it's 56.7 plus or minus 2.5 uh, centimeters. And then the same with the left, it'd be 50.2 plus or minus 2.5 centimeters. Because I'm saying that my least count really is five centimeters here. So my uncertainty would be plus or minus one half that least count. Even though the, the divisions are in one millimeter increments, I just can't see it that, that well. So I have 95% confidence that I can at least read it to within plus or minus two and a half centimeters. Okay. So to find the uncertainty then, I need to do my uncertainty analysis. So we said that the diameter was LR minus LL. So the uncertain, the absolute uncertainty in the diameter would be the square root of the absolute uncertainty in the diameter due to the uncertainty in L sub R squared plus the absolute uncertainty in the diameter due to the absolute uncertainty in L sub L squared. I'll take the square root of that to find what those terms on the right hand side are, the absolute uncertainty in the diameter due to the uncertainty in the L sub R measurement. That'll just be the derivative of the diameter with respect to DLR multiplied by the absolute uncertainty in L sub R. And if you take that derivative, it's just one. This derivative is just a one. You can see that very easily from up in here. And so this uncertainty will just be the uncertainty uh, the absolute uncertainty in L sub R, which is the um, 2.5 centimeters. I'll just write that over there. And you can do the same thing for L sub L. It'll look almost identical to what we just did before, except you put an L sub L instead of an L sub R. That derivative is a minus one, because you can see the minus one comes from up here. That doesn't really matter for us because we square the terms. So in other words, when I plug in the minus 2.5 and the positive 2.5, that gets squared up in here. So it doesn't make any difference. And when you work out the numbers here, what you'll get is the absolute uncertainty in the diameter comes out to be 0 0.35 centimeters. So my diameter measurement up here should be 6.5 centimeters plus or minus 0 0.35 centimeters. And actually, the best way to write that is you don't have to write centimeters twice. Let me erase that and rewrite it. You only need to write the centimeters once. And that would be our uncertainty 
that would be the diameter of our tennis ball, including our uncertainty. And it turns out this falls within the range of the, um, within the standards for tennis balls, actually. Tennis ball, oops. Tennis ball like this, there are certain standards for regulation play, you know, how what the diameter should be, and this measurement falls within that range. All right, we'll go ahead and end there.